Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber if you're new here and today we will be talking about the new iOS update. If you follow me on Instagram, it's right here. Um, you've seen that I've updated my phone to iOS 14 and I changed a lot and, and I really like the way my phone looks now. But I'm gonna show you how I do that. If you've seen it on my Instagram story, you're probably dying for this video because I've got a lot of questions, but we're going to get into it and I will show you everything I did. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video and I can show you what I did to make my home screen look aesthetically pleasing. So first you have to start with updating your iPhone. I've got a lot of questions if this is an app that you can use to do this, but no, it's an iOS update. It's for iPhone. So you go into settings, then you scroll down to general, and then there's software update. Mine is gonna say that it's up to date, yours isn't. If you haven't updated yours yet, it will say that there's an update available and you can click it. It will just take a little bit before the update is done, but once it's done, it's totally worth it. And you can get into customizing your entire iPhone. Then second, I just wanna show you a few things that changed and might be handy to know. When you go to the far right, you have an app library. On the top it has a search bar, you can search your app. So for example, I wanna find TikTok. You can see that I have two. One is the one where I changed the icon off, so you will see why there's two right now. But yeah, if I go into one of my apps, for example PayPal, and I just hold it down, it will get a drop down menu and you can click edit home screen and they will start to wiggle and then you click the minus button and it says delete app and move to app library. So if I click move to app library, it will be gone right there. But once I go to app library and search PayPal, it's still there. So that's really handy. So now your home screens won't be that cluttered. Mine still are a little bit, but we're gonna change that. And then another thing that I find really, really handy is whenever you hold down the screen and the little icons start to wiggle, you have the dots at the bottom for your pages. If you click those, it will pull up all the pages you have and you see that there's little check marks underneath it. So if I click this check mark from this page, it will check it off and if I click done, it is basically hidden the page. But once I click the dots again, I can bring it back. So that way you can still easily access your apps, but you don't always have to have that page on if you don't want to. So I really like that feature that they added that. And now we're gonna get into customizing the entire iPhone. So I posted this screen on my Instagram story and I got a lot of questions. How did I do this? So start downloading the apps Color Widget and Widget Smith. They're right here. And I will show you what the icons look like as I change them. So you have Color Widget, that's the top one. And then you have Widget Smith, and that's the black with the blue square. So download those, and I will show you what you can do with that. So what I did here is I have just a widget with the time and date and the day of today, and it also shows my battery percentage. And then I have just a picture with Widget Smith. One is made with color widget, and one is made with Widget Smith. So if you would like one of those where it says the date, the time, and have a cute picture. So I'm gonna show you how I made a color widget. So I go into the app Color Widget, and then there is a lot of widgets to choose from. For example, I would like that one, and I can edit the widget with colors and fonts. So for example, I would like this font and this color, and then you can also make it colored, you can make it dark, you can do light, but I would like a picture on the background, so I do add photo, and I go into my photos, and I just pick one photo that I like, and then I do set widget, and then you go back into your widgets, and then you see that it's right there. You can only use one widget at a time, unfortunately. I really hope they update that so you can make more widget with different pictures and use the widget more often, but with a different picture on the background. So then I hold down the page and then I click the plus on the top. And then when I scroll down to color widget, you have the widget that you made and you can choose if you want a small widget, a rectangular widget, or just a really big box. On my first page, I went for the rectangular one and add, clicked Add Widget, and then it will be right there. You can move it, you can move it to a different page. Like if there's more apps on the page, you can literally move it any kind of spot. If you hold it down, it will start to wiggle and it gets the minus sign. 
you can remove and just get rid of the widget if you don't like it. So now I'm going to show you how I do the pictures. So what I do is I go into Widget Smith. Now you have small widgets, medium widgets, and large widgets. The large widgets are the really big boxes. I'm going for a small right now, so I click add small and then it's pixel on for me. I click that, I change it on the top, the name, just so I can have it there and know which one I have to pick later on. So then it says default widget and you can pick from a lot of them. I would like a picture, so I click on photo album and then I click on select album and it shows all the albums you have. So when I click aesthetic and I go down again, then it's there. You have to click it again, change the name and then click save or else it won't be saved. So then I go into here, I hold it down again, I do plus, I go all the way down to widget smith, click widget smith and I would like a small widget because that's what I made. I do that, it's now my to-do list but if I go to done and hold it, it says edit widget, so if I click on edit widget and click here, you see that you can choose from all the widgets you made, so that's why I gave it a name, so if I click test and go here, you see that it changes to my aesthetic. Basically, the album you choose is the album in your photos, so I click photos and then you can see that I made some albums right here. So if I go into my recent pictures and for example, I would like all of these into a little folder, I select them and I click add to album and then you can click new album, test, save and then that's an album. And then that way you can pick whatever album you want for your widget smith. So I just have a picture right here for my widget smith right now. I do not want to use that, so I'm gonna get it out of widget smith. And you can do that really easily by just swiping left and it will show the lead. You can just get rid of it. If I go back here right now, it's gray and I can change it to whatever I like. I'm just gonna remove the widget right now. So that's how I make my widgets, so like my color widgets and my uh, widget photos. Then you also have a calendar on the top right there. I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, you go back into Widget Smith, and then you have a medium widget. Just click Add Medium Widget, Default Widget. Click on whatever you would like there. It doesn't really matter, but I just really like the calendar one. Pick whichever one you like. I go for a Sunday, 20th, and then I click on Font. And I really like the New York one, it looks really sleek, so for all of them I basically go for the New York one. Then I click on tint, which basically is the text color. They don't really have a lot, which I hope they update, but I often go for the white one or for the grey one. So for example, I would like the grey one right now. And then you have a background color and you can scroll through this. And I would like one with a white background, so I click that. And then I go back to medium 2, I change the name to test for this purpose and then I click save and then you see that there is a test widget so if I hold it down again and I click the plus go down all the way to widget smith and then I click the medium widget because that's what I did to make it so I click at widget and then it's right there if you hold it again like I did before you can edit widget and I can change it to the calendar and if I change it to test it's the one we just made and it will be right there so you can also make widgets from apps that you already have. I reckon this is gonna be a lot more once everyone found out about like the widgets and app will start to update, they will get the availability to add a widget. It's not available for a lot of apps right now, but for the few that we do have, we can add, for example, your calendar or your reminders or whatever you want. So I can search widgets and I would like to go for calendar. So I click calendar and I, one, this one. So the rectangle one, I click add widget. So now there's basically two calendars. I don't like that. I like to stack them. So I hold it and I click edit home screen and they will start to wiggle. And if you hold them on top of each other, they become one. And it's basically a scrollable widget, which I find really handy. I really like that. So you can just scroll. And so that's how I make my widget stack and still keep my phone very organized. Like under this one, for example, I have the weather because I really like to see that. Then under this one, I have my Spotify. Spotify currently does not have a widget. I use the app Tune Track for that and it basically works the same as making all the widgets I just did. 
And then under to-do list, I have my to-do list. Like I made these icons myself and the ones on the bottom as well for message, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Spotify. I will show you how to do that in a little bit. So that's how I do my widgets. It, it's quite easy actually. So now for changing the app icons. I know that a lot of people struggled with that. Uh, this has been around for a very long time actually. It's called Shortcuts. I have the app right here, but I will show you what it looks like without the changed icon. Is the app on the top. iPhone has had that for a really long time. It should be on your iPhone. Um, it's one of the apps that the phone comes with. So if you use that app, you can make shortcuts for your apps and have your apps basically be little pictures that fit your aesthetic. And the only thing that I do want to mention when you do this is that it goes through the shortcut app. So for example, if I click photos right now, you will see that it goes through the shortcut app and then goes to your photos. So you will see the shortcut app pop up, but it won't be an extra action. So if you don't like that, then unfortunately I don't have any other way to change your app icons and you will have to keep your, the app icons you do have right now. There's a lot of very cute aesthetics where people kept the app icons the way they are now. You can search those on Pinterest if you Google iOS 14 aesthetic, there's a lot of aesthetics that come up and a lot of them that didn't change their app icons. So for people who do want to change their app icons, I'm going to show you how I do that right now. So first I go into Pinterest and I search a icon that I like. So I go for a bash aesthetic and this one is for YouTube. I like this one. It fits my aesthetic as well. So I do download image and now it's in my folders. So what I do is I go into shortcuts and I go into all shortcuts and I do plus new shortcut. And if you search open app, then under actions, there is open app. You click that and it says open, choose. I would like it to open YouTube. So I click YouTube and then I click next and give the shortcut a name and I click done. And then right there at the top, there is a YouTube shortcut. You click the dots. You click the dots again and then it says add to home screen and then right there if you click on the second icon where it says home screen name and icon if you click on the icon right there it will say choose photo so i click on choose photo and then right there is the photo that we just saved so i click that and click on choose and then click on add and it will say add it to home screen and then right there is youtube so if i hold the other one right now I can do edit home screen, click the minus button and move it to move to app library. So now if I click YouTube, it will go through the shortcut app into YouTube. So that's basically how you change your app icon. So that's basically how I change all the icons off my phone and how I make everything look really aesthetically pleasing for myself. So as you can see, I have some icons and some pictures with text that you may not be able to find on Pinterest because I made them myself. So I'm going to show you how I did that. If you want to know how I made the picture on, I will show you that right now. So I make another one. I do square. I change the background color to, let's say this one. I then click on add and then insert a photo. I chose this photo last time, so I'll just show you what I did with this photo. Click on the cursor to zoom out a little so I can see better and then click the cursor again to change the picture. And I just like to outline it the way I like. And I go into the layers, I click the little N right there. And I just make sure that the opacity goes down a little bit so the background color shines through a little bit and it's more cohesive with the rest of the pictures on my phone. Then I go into the little two again and do add text. I'm already gonna change the font, make it a little bit bigger so that it fits all together, deleting a little less. Go into big text. And then I go into the cursor and I can just put it wherever I want, make it a little smaller, put it right there. This is your little icon or widget, whatever you want. Like under my widget, I have my actual to-do list. So this is just basically the front page of the widget and the to-do list. So then I go into share again and then do PNG and just share it with my phone. 
So that's basically how I change everything on my phone, how I change little app icons, how I make my widgets and how I make stackable and scrollable widgets. I really hope this was helpful for you guys. I really like doing this. I honestly spend hours on it to make those two pages. So I will definitely be finishing the rest of my phone and share it on my Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is right here. I really hope you guys liked this video. Please, if you did, leave a like down below. It really helps me a lot. If you want to see my face more often, subscribe. I would love to see you on my videos more often and interact with you guys. So thanks again so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.